Welcome back to Sean Spins. This is episode nine, and I'm your host, Sean. Hope everybody's well and safe. And what do we got going on today? What in the world's going on? I think we need to change the channel. Okay. Oh, this is a little better. What's on the TV now? It's the movie High Fidelity. Not one of my all-time favorites, but I do like it. Let's take an idea from that movie today. Let's do top five favorite Monday morning records. Only records that I have here. No CDs or tapes. Just records. Let's get into that. Well, we went from Centipede, the video game, to High Fidelity, the movie. And as I said, High Fidelity is not one of my favorite movies. I do like the record store aspect in the movie. And what we're going to do today is something from the movie. We're going to take this idea of top five favorite for a Monday morning. Kind of difficult for me. I don't really ever think of music to go with days or times. So I thought of something with Jack Black in the movie when he introduced it. The song he had was kind of happy and made him dance. So I thought a little bit about that. But what would I want to start to work with? with? So I have a little bit of a selection here. I did five vinyl records, no CDs or tapes. They're in no order. So let's start. This is number one. This is Cindy Lopper's. She is so unusual. You gotta love the back with the Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night Shoes. This is a great, great album. It has one of my favorite tracks on it too, She Bop. I have multiple copies of a seven inch single of that. I mean, I just love that song. I really do feel for me personally, I owe a lot of my creativity and my uniqueness to Cindy Lauper, and I'm very thankful I grew up listening to her and being exposed to her music and just her in general. Let's move on to number two. This is Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor. I got this like the first week it came out. It's a double album, but in a single sleeve, which is kind of interesting. I'm starting to see that album sell for quite a lot, and I'm thinking probably because, if you remember, I spoke about it in the 90s, not a lot of vinyl was being sold around my world. And same thing when I got this around 2005, 2006. The whole store was full of used CDs and new CDs. and Just a little section of vinyl. And if I'm not mistaken, I might have actually had ordered that. And they brought it uh, to the store and then I picked it up. I love that album. Um, very positive uh, feel to it. Um, it's great. It's... I feel as though there's certain albums that should be handed out to everyone, and I feel that album is one of them. I also have it on CD, um, but that vinyl is very special to me. I, I used to listen to it a lot. When it first came out, I think for a year or two, I listened to it every day. Let's go to number uh, three. The Go-Go's, Beauty and the Bee. I listen to this one a lot at work. I have a copy at work, too. It's a fun album. Pretty fun. Number four. I feel as though this one might be a little rarer. I've only seen this on vinyl one time in my life. This is Sean Lennon's Into the Sun. The front cover's got him in warm colors, a portrait. The back cover is a portrait in the cool colors. This is on Grand Royal, which used to also do the Beastie Boys. And I have a feeling that might be why. I've not seen a lot of this. I think that label went under. I actually had this on CD first. I got it in the late 90s, and I found the record a couple years later at a flea market out of all places. I don't know how. I, I don't know if this was at a radio station or what. But I have no idea how I found this at a flea market. Beautiful album, though. Great sounding, beautiful album. Well, last but not least on my... Top five, as I said, no order to this. This is Jay Maskus, Tied to a Star. This also came with a giant poster of the cover, and I have that poster at work on a bulletin board. It's a great album. There's a big difference between Jay Maskus solo and Jay Maskus with Dinosaur Jr. And this one just has a really cool feel to me, like an early morning feel. It's kind of interesting. One of the tracks on here is actually called Every Morning. Huh. That's interesting. 
Great, great album. I have, I believe, three solo albums from Jay Maskis, and this is probably my favorite for a long time. I listen to that every single day also. Well, that's about it for my top five. I mean, I could probably do a lot more, but I just stick it to five like they did in the movie. So, if you have your top five for Monday morning music, put it down in the chat so we can talk about it. But until next time, everybody stay well and take care.